Hello, I'm going to do the birthday reading for Capricorn for December 24th. Happy birthday to you. I hope you have an amazing day. So this is a general reading for those of you that have a birthday today. Um, and this may or may not resonate. Take the parts that resonate. Take the parts that do not, as I always say. So we're going to do kind of like a triangle reading here. I kind of like how I was doing that. So we're going to continue with that. So I have my cleansing crystal on top of the deck. We're going to start with our animal oracle. And we are going to see what energies you are going to have for the next year, what energy you have for your birthday. We have moth spirit, surrender now. Okay, so maybe this year is like you're letting go of things that are holding you back, that you're letting go of things that are not serving you, that have kind of expired, you know, letting go of things, not holding on to things. Sometimes, you know, we have a tendency to just, oh, I'm going to hold on to that little negative tidbit just in case I need to throw it back in that person's face. And who is that really serving? It's not affecting that person, but it you know, maybe affecting you. So I feel that this year is a, it's a good, good thing is because you're kind of shedding those skin and, and surrendering and letting go of what's not serving you, or could be also kind of surrender and just kind of facing challenges or facing things and not kind of sweeping things under a rug, but saying, okay, now I'm ready to work on this and deal with this. Okay, so then we are going to grab our Star Dragons. So we have understanding, looking at both sides, and we have transcendence, achieving success. So I feel that's really important because it's kind of realizing if I keep holding on to things that don't serve me, how is, you know, how is that working for me? If I'm holding on to things that, you know, I want to maybe throw back in someone else's face later, like how that's not hurting them, it's only hurting myself. Or looking at that if I don't deal with situations, that it's just going to keep building and building and building. And then we have achieving success. How do you achieve success? It's closing the doors on some things and that leaves space to open the doors on other things, on new things, on different things, and things that bring more happiness and joy. So I feel like it's a lot of self-discovery this year. I feel like self-realizations and self-discovery this year for you. All right, we're going to grab <laughs> time to get to work with my clean it up. I like that one. I like the chop wood and clean it. Clean, clean it up. Clean it up can be, right, surrendering now, dealing with situations. It also could be that maybe this year you declutter. Maybe you do a lot of decluttering. Decluttering helps so much. I've done a bunch. My sister's done a bunch. My mother's done a bunch. And it's so freeing when you have that decluttering and you get rid of those things that no longer serve you or maybe remind you of negative things or, you know, you free up space to not feel so like clutter gives me anxiety but clean it up can represent too many different things it could be mentally or physically we have breathe time to relax time to breathe time to be calm and then we have message in a bottle that there is a message that is trying to get through to you that you may receive a very important message this year um, a life-changing message a message that really can it could be a job opportunity in a different area it could be a new job it could be a someone that reaches out to you that you haven't heard it could be some communication it could be anything we have the little telephone which is inside of the bottle it could just be you getting that message that i don't want to hold on to things that don't serve me so there is a message that is trying to get through to you and I also feel that it's this calmness, which I like that kind of right in the middle here, which is that calmness and breathing and, and feeling more relaxed this year. And, and that's because you've let go of what doesn't serve you, that you're focusing on what, of achieving success, whatever success may represent for you. Um, and that 
you're in charge of that and to get to work right to clean those things up clean up those loose ends clean up those things that are kind of out there hanging that aren't serving you all right we're going to grab some tarot cards we have i love it page of cups we have the knight of cups so i feel like it's almost like that progression of going from the page of cups to the knight of cups so it's like you're your feelings become stronger and I almost feel like you're like you're maturing and like you're growing up and you're realizing okay what's important to focus on and what's 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 not I have blue lots of blue here lots of blue um so we have the page of cups the knight of cups the ace of swords which I love that where aces are new beginnings it's a new way to see things and analyze things and look at things and I feel like it starts to make sense and I feel like also don't give up on yourself and then I feel like one more so we have judgment there's a message again messages trying to come through to you and to hear the message that maybe this is the year that you hear the message that maybe this maybe you've been repeating some patterns maybe you've been doing kind of the same thing it's the same kind of relationships the same kind of things happen the same kind of situations and that this is a year for you to break free from that but I feel like this may be challenging for you, especially when we have the surrender now. Um, and I feel like there may be some challenges here for you and with the clean it up. Don't give up because that's showing how strong you are and to have that persistence to work through those challenges. Because like I said, I've said many times before is that when you have those challenges, it's 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 there for you to see something, for you to learn something. What message can you get from those more difficult times, from those challenges that you have? What's the message or understanding? Could just be, hey, I'm a strong person and I was able to deal with a, you know, a, an uncomfortable situation, right? And I feel like there's a message in everything. And it's almost like when things are going good and things are are kind of just moving along there that there that really not much is going on but you learn the most when those challenges happen and to not give up when those challenges happen because there's a message that's trying to get through to you and the sense of freedom with those doves there it just caught my eye that there's a sense of freedom when you're able to push through those more difficult situations and that advancement going from the page to the night and kind of learning new things but continuing with that growth continuing with the process and not giving up because I almost feel like it's a process that's going on here and then there's like oh, I can't do anymore I can't deal anymore with it I want to give up but to not give up and to push forward and to hear the message that is and like the gates are free and they're kind of there's being set free and the dove is set free and and setting yourself free from a situation it's like you're almost there don't give up right don't give up right before the end so I feel like that's that when you have those challenges, just remember that there's something there for you to see and don't give up because you're so close to reaching your goal and to hear figuring out that message. I'm going to grab an empowering question for you for the year. Something to think about. We have what kinds of reoccurring situations or people do I attract? Which is so funny because I feel like that's that's what I had said earlier. Is there are lessons that you need to learn and you keep repeating some patterns. So again, here is that confirmation that I was on the right track. Is that what kinds of reoccurring situations or people do I attract? What kinds of lessons might they have about myself? Again, learning that there's a message trying to get through to you. Does something keep happening for you to see something, right? For you to learn from it, for you, from you, for you to grow from it. And what can I, what can you learn from that? That's what I said is with those challenges, don't give up on it and don't stop it because there's something for you to see and learn from it. Let's grab a angel answers. Oh, oh you got two. You got a bonus. We got wait and we have ask for help for others. So that could be a special message just for someone is that if if there's something that you're deciding to do, that these cards are saying wait and ask for help for others to not just jump in with something and to maybe sometimes 
Like we, we all have that person or people that we can run things by them and see what their opinion is. Doesn't mean you have to follow that, but it could just be like, sometimes they have a perspective that we're not able to see or we don't quite get it. And then they say it and you're like, oh, okay. Well, well, that sounds better or that's a different perspective or so for someone, there may be a situation where you want to jump right in and react. But I feel that this message is for you to say to wait and ask for help from others and to kind of run it by and kind of take a step back and think about it. And if you still want to go ahead, that's great. But if you want to change things up, that's great. So that was meant to be. So I feel like that's for some reason, I feel like that's a special message for someone. And then we're going to grab a crystal for you for the year. Wow. I feel like this one right here. So that one's really pretty. I wonder if it's amethyst. No. Leopard Delight. Transition, release, and change. Look at that. Again, surrender now and release, release and um, transcendence and transition. So I love how it's repeating energies, repeating messages. Change is coming. I love it because that's what's happening here is change is coming. Um, and this crystal is a perfect crystal to help you with those transitions. By becoming aware of bad habits and patterns, we can release them to make room for new, worn, new ones that sustain a healthy lifestyle. That's exactly what I was saying. It's closing the doors on what doesn't work for you and opening up those new doors and getting rid of the, clean it up, clean up those bad habits, right? Clean up those, those negative things, whether it's physically, mentally, or both, right? Clean those up and making room for new ones. Um, that sustain a healthy lifestyle. Healthy la lifestyle, I feel, goes with this breathe card where you feel calmer, you feel more relaxed, you're not worried about things, you're not stressing about things. Does it ever completely 100% go away? No, but you're having more calmer, um, relaxed days. This crystal helps us let go of attachments to old behaviors and addictions, clearing away emotional ties to the stories we tell ourselves. This crystal encourages self-love on all, on all levels, even if we need to step away from our current way of doing things to establish that trust. So I feel like that goes with this weight. Um, write the story you want to live. Perfect. Write the story that you want to live and create that life that you want to live with this Ace of Swords here. And don't give up right before you're ready to reach that, right before it's ready to happen. I feel this year that you're gonna have some challenges, but I feel you're going to learn a lot from them. I feel like you're gonna be letting go of a lot of things. You're gonna be releasing a lot of things, but you're also gonna be putting, bringing in a lot of, lot of new things. I also feel like things are going to make sense to you this year. I feel like they're going to kind of, you're going to realize a lot of things about yourself and I feel like you're going to be changing some habits that you used to do that you're no longer going to do those because those are not serving you. And I feel you're going to learn a lot about yourself and that you're going to look out for yourself more and it's more self-love and, and self-care self, self -care that you're going to be doing. And I feel that that's going to result in, in a calmness that you feel within yourself because you're like, I'm not going to worry about those things anymore. And I'm not going to put that self that into my, but I also feel like you want to learn about things like why you're letting go of things or why, um, things are happening. And I feel like you're kind of questioning, like you want to learn a lot about that too, le learning a lot about yourself too. And I think that's an amazing, good thing. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing birthday and an amazing year. It looks like you have some amazing changes that are coming your way that are going to be happening and that you're more in control of your life. If you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.